Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. Guys, in this video, I'll be giving you a brief introduction to methods and functions in Scala. Let's get started. Functions. Again, it's a very generic, very common term we, that we use in uh, all the programming languages. So what is function? In a pro computer programming, a function or a method is a block of code that perform a specific task. The block of code is then given a name much like a variable that is called whenever that specific task needs to be performed. And this removes the need to type the same code over and over again. All we have to do is to call the function name. This is the advantage of function, right? Then how do they work, right? So like mathematical functions, the programming functions takes an input known as argument, performs some operation in, on that input, and then returns the resulting output. Let me just give an analogy. Let me just compare it with the conveyor belt. Here, this is a conveyor belt, right? So the, it's almost like a conveyor belt, the functions uh, in a factory with the items entering the machine from one end of a conveyor belt and coming out completely modified on other end. So, but the machine remains the same throughout its life. It will modify every item that enters in the same way. This is how the function works. Now, what are different type of functions? Uh, we can divide the we can divide the functions into two broad categories: built-in functions and user-defined function, or we call it as UDF. So, this is the one example we have given. Uh, the built-in functions are known as methods. So here uh, we have just given a simple snippet of code: val space print me equal to in a double quotation marks we have written hello world print ln print me. In this code, the print ln is a method which performs the specific task, which is print. Print me is the argument uh, we need to pass to a method and hello world is a resultant output. It means we are we are using the functions and we even we don't know, right? We are keep on using this functions and this print talent statement for so long. Indirectly, we are using the functions. How to call a function, right? So calling a function, uh, most methods require you to call them on a something. Let's call that something on object. So what are what are different ways? What are different approaches, right? Uh, the Scala has given to us. Scala has given us the two approaches. Let's see those approaches in calling a function. First is ordinary method call. The first one, this is the ordinary method call object name dot method name arguments. And the later one is a method call using operator notation. And how to apply this? Let's see one example. This is a simple example we have taken. In this code, you can see val space string one equal to hello world val result equal to string one dot index of w in a single quotation marks print elements result. In this code, the string one is an object that we are calling the method index of on and w is an argument we are passing it. The output is six because we are just uh, na, like finding the index location of the w as the uh, w is located at the sixth index in the string hello world. So this is the way uh, we can uh, call the function. And the same thing we can do in a, this way as well. It's another way uh, that I've already have stated. This is, the, this is the way in which we are just using the operator notation, right? So this is the object name space method name space argument. This one is equivalent of this syntax, the second one, right? This is the first syntax example, and this is the second syntax example. So with this, I'm done with this video. I hope you must have uh, noted down the important points. I'll see you next video in which I'll be extending this with uh, some more information. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.